For the quotient rule, the derivative of f over g is equal to g times the derivative of f minus f times the derivative of g over g squared. That means for the derivative of the quotient f over g, first we need to copy the denominator and get the derivative of the numerator, then minus copy the numerator, and then multiply it to the derivative of the denominator. Then divided by the square of the denominator. Now to illustrate how to use this, Let's consider the function f of x equals x squared plus 3. Now the derivative is equal to, take note that in this given, f is the numerator and g is the denominator. So copy g, so we have 5x plus 1, so copy g. And then multiply it to the de derivative of the numerator. The derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of 3 is 0. So that's it. Then minus f. Copy the numerator. And multiply it to the derivative of the denominator. Derivative of 5x plus 1 is 5. Derivative of 5x is 5, and derivative of 1, since this is constant, is 0. So we have 5, then divided by square of the denominator, 5x plus 1 squared. Now let's simplify this. So this is equal to, uh, we need to distribute 2x in this binomial. So that's 10x squared plus 2x. And then for this one, so we have times 5 and 10 times 5. So we have minus, okay, let's group this 2 and then let's group this also. So we have 5x squared plus 15 divided by 5x plus 1 squared. Okay, the next is to subtract the polynomials in the numerator. So that's 10x squared plus 2x, then change the operations. So we have minus 15x squared minus 15 all over 5x plus 1 squared. So now this is equal to... 10x squared, combine like terms, 10x squared and uh, minus 5x squared is 5x squared. Then let's copy 2x and then copy 15 and then copy the denominator. Since the numerator is not factorable, this is our final answer. We cannot simplify it further. So the answer is 5x squared plus 2x minus 15 over 5x plus 1 squared. Next for the second example, we have f of x equals x raised to 5 over x plus 2. Once again, we're going to use the quotient rule in finding the derivative of this function. So now we have f prime of x is equal to... So in this given, uh, x raised to 5, the numerator is our f, and x plus 2 is g. And the derivative is g times the derivative of f, and then minus f times the derivative of g. Okay, let's follow that. So we have g is x plus 2. And then differentiate f, x raised to 5, the derivative using the power rule is 5x raised to 4. And then minus f, x raised to 5, times the derivative of g. Derivative of x is 1, and derivative of 2 is 0. 
Next, for the denominator, so we have g squared. So that is x plus 2 squared. Then let's simplify. Uh, I will distribute 5x raised to 4 here. So we have 5x raised to 5 plus 10x raised to 4, then minus x raised to 5, all over x plus 2 squared. Then simplify it further, combine like terms, 5x raised to 5 minus x raised to 5 is 4x raised to 4, sorry, 4x raised to 5 plus 10x raised to 4. Copy. Then divided by x plus 2 squared. So this is the final answer. Now, you may try answering the following items. Find the derivative of f of x equals x raised to 5 times x raised to 8 plus 10 using the product rule. And for item number 2, try to find the derivative of x raised to 5 plus 2 over x squared plus x using the quotient rule. That's all for this video. Thank you.